You unlock this door with the key of imagination. Beyond it is another dimension, a dimension of sound, a dimension of sight, a dimension of mind. You're moving into a land of both shadow and substance, of things and ideas. You've just crossed over into the Twilight Zone. Attention shoppers, Mason's department store will close in 10 minutes. This is your last chance for all red tag items in four minutes. Here you are, ma'am. Thank you. Who's next? Just these things, please. One child's bathrobe, pajamas, and a pair of slippers. Will that be all? Yes, thank you. And how would you like to pay? Um, how much does it come to? With tax, your total is $57.63. Oh, is that the sale price? L let me see. Children's wear, uh, yes, that department's on markdown. The slippers, too? Where did you find them? On the clearance table. There's a red tag. Very good. That'll be an additional 40% off. I I'll just adjust the total. Oh, that's better. Every little bit counts, doesn't it? Children grow so fast. If that's all. Christy? Christy, where are you? Here, Mommy. Time to go, darling. Mommy, look. What have you got there? A dolly. My, isn't she cute? She's the best doll in the whole world. Yeah, well, you better put it back now. Daddy's waiting. Can I have her, please? Uh, you already have a doll. Not like this one. Her name's Tina. Is it? Listen. Please, Mommy. She wants to go home with me. She said so. Maybe next time. But she wants to go now. Uh, shall I add the doll? Well, no, I don't think so. My name is Talkie Tina, and I want to go home with you. See? What will they think of next, hmm? Excuse me. I'm in line here, too, you know? I'm sorry. Just a second. Will that be cash, ma'am? She's just like a real little girl. Aren't you, Tina? Oh, for the love of... I'll have someone restock it for you. Will you accept a charge? Certainly. Here's my card. If you'll just sign here, Mrs. Streeter. All right. I'll put everything in one bag. Would you like to carry it, honey? Oh, yes, Mommy. Thank you. Who's next? Well, it's about time. Do you have any more Shake Me, Bake Me sets? Oh, I'm afraid not, sir. They sold out this morning. Well, come on. I only came out because of your advertisement. But I, I can give you a rain check. I don't want a rain check. I drove 15 miles to get a Shake Me, Bake Me toy kitchen for my daughter, and I'm not going to leave without one. Uh, if you'd like to speak to the supervisor, I... You bet I would. I can't believe this. Come along, honey. We're holding up the line. We will, I promise. Yeah, as long as your daddy doesn't find out. Come on, Tina, we're going home. Meet Talkie Tina, the doll that does everything. A lifelike creation of molded plastic with a beautiful painted smile. For an only child named Christy, she's a brand new playmate. For her father, however, this particular doll is about to become a most unwelcome addition to the family. But don't worry, because without Talkie Tina, chances are he would never find his way into the Twilight Zone. And now, The Twilight Zone and our story, Living Doll, starring Tim Kazarinski, with Stacy Keach as your narrator. This is where we live, Tina. See? Put her back in the bag with your other things. But Tina wants to see her new house. Just until we get inside. Okay. Come on, Tina. Honey? Yes, Mommy? Why don't you run upstairs with your doll? That way she can see your room. Can't Tina meet Daddy first? No, not yet. He's very busy today, remember? Okay. And a grand total for one month. Oh, I can't believe it. Eric? Hi. Oh, sorry we took so long. It doesn't matter. I'm still working on the taxes. Oh, did you make yourself lunch? Not yet. What'd you buy? 
Oh, nothing much. Just a couple of things Christy needed. Mm, what kind of things? Uh, go on upstairs, darling. Yes, Mommy. Come on, Tina. Now, wait a minute. Christy? What do you got there? It's nothing, Eric. No? It's just a doll. A doll, huh? Show Daddy, honey. Her name's Tina. She doesn't need another doll. She fell in love with it. What was I supposed to do? Her birthday's not for months. I thought we agreed. She's only a child. She's just like a real live girl, Daddy. For heaven's sake, Annabelle. A doll like that cost... It was on sale. Oh, so that means we can afford it, huh? What was it, free? I put it on the account. Tina does everything, don't you, Tina? Her arms move and her eyes open. Watch. She sees you, Daddy, and she can even talk. My name is Talkie Tina, and I love you very much. You have to admit it's adorable. <laughs> See? I just love her already. My name is Talkie Tina, and I want to go home with you. <laughs> Isn't she cute? All right, all right, how much? Well, not that much. I know. It was on sale. You charged it. How much? Eric, that's enough. Christy, go to your room, please. Yes, Mommy. My name is Talkie Tina, and you're my new best friend. Christy, hold on. What, Daddy? Let me see that doll for a minute. Eric, please. Hey, I've been doing the income and expenses while you were out. And now I have to write a check to the IRS. I can almost cover it if we don't go to the movies or eat out for a month. This is hardly the time to talk about... I asked you a question, Annabelle. How much did it cost me? You? I earn the money around here, don't I? I don't think it's the price of the doll that's upsetting you. Oh, uh, here it comes. Here what comes? Some more of that Freudian gibberish you've been getting from her doctor. It is not Dr. Lubin's fault that she feels rejected. Will you shut that thing off? Her name's Tina. Don't yell at her. Give it to me. Daddy, please. She's my dolly. Not until I decide if she's going to stay. Mommy. Go on. It'll be all right. I promise. <laughs> Eric, how could you? <sighs> what would you suggest I do? Start printing money? Charge accounts have to be paid, you know? We'll talk about this later. After you've had a chance to think about what you've just done to that little girl. More toys, more of everything for Christy. That's what she needs, another doll. One that talks. My name is Talkie Tina, and I don't think I like you. What? My name is Talkie Tina, and I think I could even hate you. What kind of doll is this? Get out of here! What do you say now, huh? You all broken up about it? Why, you... Eric? Yeah? Did you just throw something? What if I did? You broke the vase. So I'll get you another one. <sighs> just tell me why. I don't like what it says. The doll? You might be interested to know it has quite a vocabulary. Listen. My name is Talkie Tina, and I love you very much. I suppose that offends you in some way. That's not what it said a minute ago. Eric, I don't know how much more of this I can take. Oh, uh, and exactly what is it you're taking? Your anger toward Christy. I know you're having a difficult time adjusting to her, but I can't let you treat her this way. She's my daughter, Eric. I love her. Oh, you love her, but I don't love her. I'm only your stepfather. I'm incapable of loving children because I can't have any of my own. That's what you're saying, isn't it? No, Eric, believe me, it's not. You could love Christy. I know you could if you'd only give yourself half a chance. Good. Then I'm not the cold, cruel ogre mommy and daughter think I am. Whew. I can't tell you how much I appreciate your faith in me. Eric, please, give us a chance. Christy and me. I know you got more than you bargained for when you married me. Two for the price of one. But we'll do anything to make you happy. Both of us. Daddy? Honey, just a minute. I'm sorry, Daddy. What? I'm sorry if I made you mad. Oh, Christy, I, I wasn't mad at you. Do you understand that? Sure, Daddy. Oh, there you are, Tina. No, no, no don't do that. Why? My name is Talkie Tina, and I love you very much. 
Why not, Daddy? Uh, nothing, uh, nothing at all. Come on, Tina, let's go upstairs. Almost finished, Christy? Almost, Mommy. We are. Aren't we, Tina? Eat your vegetables so we can have dessert. What kind? Hmm? Tina wants to know what kind of dessert. Oh, your favorite, banana cream pie. Mmm. Be a good girl, Tina, and eat your supper. You eat your own supper, Christy. I am, Daddy. <laughs> I didn't know your doll could laugh. Oh, Daddy, Tina can do everything. Well, tell her not to do it at the table. What's the matter, Eric? Forget it. I didn't hear anybody laugh. Really? I thought I... Uh, you thought what? N nothing. Where'd you buy her? Mason's. It seemed like a good idea. Mm, did it? She'll be a good playmate for Christy. Lacking a brother or sister. Is that what you mean? I didn't say that. But it's what you meant. It's why you bought the doll, isn't it? So I'd have a reminder? It hadn't occurred to me, but if that's what you think, give me your plate, Christy. Yes, Mommy. Here's Tina's, too. She ate all her food. Did she? Who's that? I'm sure I don't know. Who do you think it is, Tina? Now well, stop talking to her like that. It's only a doll. No, she's not, Daddy. She's my new best friend. Hear that, Tina? It's Linda. Buddy. Don't you want your dessert first? Later, Mommy. Can I take Tina? Not outside. But she wants to meet Linda. Well, Linda can meet her later. Okay. How about you? Uh, what? Do you want some dessert? Oh, sure. That'd be fine. Well, I'll bring you a piece of pie. Yeah, you do that. My name is Talkie Tina. Hey, nobody pulled your string. And I'm beginning to hate you. Yeah? Well, my name's Eric Streeter. And you know what? I think I'm gonna get rid of you after all. You wouldn't dare. Wouldn't I? Just watch. Don't pick me up. This is my chair. No, it's not. It's Christy's high chair. Or it was until she grew out of it. But you'll never grow because you're just a piece of plastic. Got that? What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? Shut up, you little wretch. Here's your pie. Thanks. What are you doing? Just seeing how it works. I thought you didn't like it. I don't, but it's pretty clever for a toy. Is there any coffee? Yeah, in the kitchen. I'll get it. You're nothing, understand? A kid's toy. I could twist your arm off or your leg. Ow! Don't tell me you have feelings, too. Doesn't everything? Oh, I see. Then I could hurt you. Not really. We'll see about that. But I could hurt you. <laughs> Tell me another one. Threats from a doll. Who are you talking to? Well, who do you think? Eric, please be careful with Christie's doll. Here, yeah, you can have it. I don't want it. I only meant it means a lot to her. The game's over. Game? Oh, come on now. How dense do you think I am? I wish I knew what you were talking about. <laughs> Some invention, this thing. I guess I haven't kept up with the times. They must be doing great things with technology now. I didn't know they were putting walkie-talkies in dolls. Walkie-talkies? Voice chips, whatever they are. But there's hardly any technology to it. You've seen these before. Just a, a string that goes into the back of the doll. You pull it, and it plays a little record inside. Come off it, Annabelle. Didn't you think I'd catch on? Catch on to what? Well, all that stuff about hating me and the last bit about feelings. Doesn't everything. That was a nice touch. You should be a regular ventriloquist. Really, Eric, I don't know what... <laughs> Linda wants to see Tina. Can I? Can she, please? All right, dear. My name is Talkie Tina, and I love you very much. <laughs> I told you. She's so sweet. You can both play with Tina tomorrow after school. 
if Linda would like to come over. Oh, yes, Mrs. Streeter. That would be so neat. Oh, come on, Linda. It's the ice cream man. <laughs> that doll is sweeter, right? Especially with a speaker inside. What is it, one of those little transistor receivers? <laughs> think whatever you want, but it isn't true. It doesn't matter what I think. It's what I hear that counts. I have ears. I'm not stupid, you know. I didn't say you are. You don't have to. Nobody's playing tricks on you. Go ahead. Keep it up. I know you got a microphone around here somewhere. You and Christy are getting even with me. Isn't that right? That's ridiculous, Eric, and you know it. Is it? I noticed the doll never talks when you're in the room. Of course it does. It just did. Yeah, yeah, the pre-recorded line, sure, but not what it says to me. You're really serious. Sure I am. So tell me, how do you do it? There's nothing to tell. All right, don't tell me. Keep your secret. Play your little games. But I promise you one thing. Keep this up, and you'll be sorry. Christy? Christy? My name is Talkie Tina, and you'd better put me down. Or what? What are you gonna do about it, huh? Christy's not around to help you, and neither is her mommy. You'll be sorry. Nah, you're the one who's gonna be sorry, starting right now. What are you doing? What I should have done the first time you mouthed up, put you where you belong. In the trash with the rest of the garbage. Where's Tina? I wouldn't know. You had her, Daddy. Go ask your mother. She's already asked me. And what did you tell her? That I don't know where she is. Then I guess that settles it. Do you know, Eric? No, would I? Where is she, Daddy? If your mother can't tell you, neither can I. Tina must be around, Christy. Let's find her. I'll look in the kitchen. What do you think you're doing? Trying to read the evening paper. Is that all right with you? She's not in here. I'll help you look. You should be ashamed of yourself. About what? If anything's happened to her doll... Hello? My name is Talkie Tina, and I'm going to kill you. Say that again. You heard me. How did you get out? Wouldn't you like to know? Who is this? Hello? Hello? Not there. And where? Annabelle? Annabelle? Yes? Where is she? She's still looking. I'm not talking about Christy! We haven't found the doll, if that's what you mean. That's exactly what I mean. You knew I put it in the trash can outside. You and now, what? And now it's gone, which means somebody took it. More games? Oh, Eric, I can't bear this. Neither can I. I am tired of... I'm tired of all this nonsense. A, a joke's a joke, but you've carried it too far. I have? You and Christy. Will the two of you stop it? <sighs> Eric, I didn't touch the doll. I haven't seen it since dinner. Am I, am I supposed to believe you? I swear. You're telling the truth? Of course I am. You really didn't take it? I didn't take it. And who? The phone call. What phone call? Well, you were on the extension. You said... What are you talking about now? Didn't you do that either? Do what? No. Of course it couldn't have been you. How could you make the phone ring? You couldn't even call unless it was from an outside line. But you were in the house the whole time. I didn't hear the phone ring. There must be an explanation. Some electronic device that taps into the line. Eric? The phone rang. I answered it. The doll's voice was loud and clear. It said, My name is Talkie Tina, and I'm going to kill you. What? That's what it said. Why would I lie? Oh, Eric, I don't know what to say or what to think. Well, one way or another, the doll's disappeared. 
If you didn't take it, that leaves Christy. Eric? Christy! Christy, are you awake? Did you? I told you, you'd be sorry. Get away from her. Get out of her bed and out of this house. Tina? I'll be back. And when I do, I'll have some questions for you, little girl. Christy, wake up! Daddy? Stay where you are, Christy. I want Tina. Don't worry about that thing. I have to borrow it for a while. But she's mine. Lie back down. Tina belongs to me. Daddy? Daddy? What's happening? Daddy, please! Where are you going with her doll? To do what I should have done. Daddy! Get one thing straight, Christy. I am not your daddy. There, there. He won't hurt her. Tina! Tina! Know where you are now, baby doll? Where? Take a look around, if those eyes of yours can even see. Welcome to my workroom. You don't scare me. This is a garage. Right, and this is my workbench. And these, these are my tools. What kind of tools? Well, let's see what we have here. Know what this is, doll face? A vice. That's what. What are you going to do? What does it look like? I'm gonna put your cute little head in it and crack you open like a ripe tomato. You can try. We'll see about that. You'd better stop. Yeah? Or what? Get ready to die. Don't say I didn't warn you. You're the one who's going to die. <laughs> close any tighter. I want to see those plastic eyes of yours pop out of your head. You can't hurt me. I thought you said you had feelings. I can stand it if you can. Mm, something else then. How about a torch? That's it. A little butane. This will raise your temperature. <laughs> You'll melt like a rubber band on a hot stove. All we need is a spark to light it. Now we turn the nozzle till we get a nice blue flame. <clears throat> no problem. Just give it a spark one more time. Ah, that's okay. Third time's the charm. Ah, the lighter's empty. <laughs> You're funny. We're wasting time. Time for the big guns. How about a table saw? Diamond tip blade? That'll do the trick. Cuts right through solid steel. <clears throat> now, you lay there. Go on, close your eyes, because this is the last thing you'll ever see. I'll make it a clean cut, straight through that little pink throat. Say your prayers. Why won't it cut? Why? Eric? Get away from me. What are you doing? Only what I have to. Eric, no. Give me that doll. Leave me alone. So I can't cut you, but you're still done for. You don't stand a chance. Now what, you funny man? Try this on for size. I got a burlap bag somewhere and some rope. Yes. You know what people do with kittens, don't you? Well, let me show you. Say they don't want them around anymore, because they're always in the way. They put them in a sack, and they tie it up real tight. Lots of rope, and they make a knot that nobody can untie. There. Then they cut the rope with a pocket knife, and they take the sack outside and put it in the trash can. Only this time, they put a cinder block on top of the lid to make sure it stays put. Now let me see you get out of that. <laughs> A 
Well, what are you doing? What does it look like? Uh, you're packing your suitcase. But why? Are you joking? N no, I'm not joking. I'm asking you a simple question. I think I deserve an answer. Think about it, Eric. How could I go on living with you after what you've done? Well, I, I had to. Had to? You had to show your hatred for me and for Christy? It's over with. Things will be better now. You'll see. Oh, will they? Listen, Annabelle, that doll... What about that doll, Eric? It's a toy, nothing more. One that means a great deal to her. And you've destroyed it. That was a hateful thing to do. She'll never forgive you, and neither will I. The doll talked to me. It said things that no toy would say. Don't you see? I had to get rid of it. Yeah, I see a great many things now. You've become a stranger to me. A sick, neurotic stranger. You're full of blind, unreasonable hate. Hate? But I did it for us. I love you and Christy. Well, then you've got a strange way of showing it. I don't believe you know what love is anymore. And you're suffering from some very dangerous delusions. You'd better find a good psychiatrist. Delusions? I couldn't have imagined it. You tell that psychiatrist you tried to kill a doll. I, I couldn't have. What did you do with it, by the way? So I can get the remains out of this house before Christy finds what's left. It, it's still in one piece. I I'll bring the doll inside if that's what you want. I'll give it to Christy myself. How magnanimous of you. Will that make everything right? I don't know, Eric. I honestly don't know. I want things to be right between us. All three of us. It's a little late for that, don't you think? Just let me try. Give me one minute. That's all I'm asking. Oh, Eric. Eric. There. The trash can. A cinder block on top. Same as I left it. No problem. Cut the rope off. Oh, thank God. Good as new. My name is Talkie Tina, and I don't forgive you. Shut up. Shut up. Just until we get inside. Christy, are you awake? Yes. Oh, Christy, honey, listen to me. Where's my dolly? Daddy's bringing her. You'll see. He was mean to her. Oh, honey, he couldn't help it. Sometimes Daddy gets mad. It's not your fault. Why doesn't he like her? He's got a lot on his mind. You know how hard he works, but he's going to be better now. He's going to see a doctor, and this doctor's going to make him well again. Promise? We just have to be patient with him. Dry your eyes now. Christy, look what I've got. Tina! Did you miss her? Well, now she can sleep with you, right next to your pillow, all night long. Is that okay? Oh, Tina, Tina! Thank you, Eric. Uh, satisfied? Yeah, we'll talk about it in the morning. Yeah, but, I, but I did what you wanted. In the morning. Did you hear that? Oh, what is it now? I heard something. Well, I didn't hear anything. Go back to sleep. Well, I haven't been to sleep yet. Oh, Eric, it's late. Now, you heard that, didn't you? It's nothing. Well, somebody could be in the house. Did you lock up? Of course I did. But somebody could have broken in. It's probably Christy. I'd better see if she's all right. I'll go. No, you stay here. Christy? Christy? Mm. Oh, you're okay. Good, that's good. But, but where's your doll? Tina. Where is it? What? Mm. Who's there? Somebody's downstairs. I'm calling the police. Do you hear me? Eric? Shh. Stay there. I'm going downstairs to check it out. What is it? I'm not sure. If I don't come right back, call the police. Maybe I left the door to the garage unlocked. Yeah, that's it. Don't turn on the lights yet. Catch them red-handed. <laughs> Whoops! Stop! Whoops! Oh. Oh. 
Try to move. It was the doll. The doll. I tell you, get it, get it out. Lie still. I'll call the doctor. Out of the house. Too late for me. My neck's broken. You have to promise to get rid of it. Now. Of course, we all know that dolls can't talk. Not really. Nor can they lie in wait and trip a man on a dark stairway, because that would be murder. And that's one thing no doll can do. That is, unless her name is Tina, and she happens to have been manufactured in the Twilight Zone. <laughs> 